whoever created Bang Two Nights, like, you know, come see, let me holler at you. It's, it's not for me. It's not for me. Hang on the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. C come on, say what? It's Let's go. And as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. channel today's video is gonna be a natural hair tag i was actually called out by lane alexis and i am challenging amira j basically the challenge is you answer questions about your natural hair this natural hair challenge was created by kimberly chanel and it's basically is or, or this or that questions and i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start right into this video I am using my phone, y'all, because I have the questions on there. So, the first question is, let them know your hair type. My hair type, I think, is like a 3A, 3B type of hair. I really don't care for a hair type. Um, I really don't believe in that type of stuff, but if you if I had to choose, it would be like a 3A, 3B. Um... What is your current hair inspiration? My current hair inspiration happens to be Alyssa Forever. And she is a YouTuber. I actually learned about her from YouTube. But she's very popular on YouTube. And she's popular on Instagram. So if you don't know who she is, you can look her up on Instagram or YouTube. I love her hair, y'all. And she really inspires me to keep keep going. Like, it's you know, it's going to get better. But my hair is not bad. I really love my hair, y'all. I'm just one of the lazy, natural type people. Like, I don't do my hair regularly than I should. So, but I'm trying to get back into that groove of doing my hair like I should do my hair. Um, low prosity or high prosity? I'm going to say my hair is high prosity. It doesn't take much for a product to take in my hair. So, yeah. Deep conditioners. Do I like thick deep conditioners or slippery? Definitely slippery because when you're natural and you have thick hair, you want something that's smooth and easy to comb your hair out with. So in thick, it's just going to be a hot ass mess. So definitely slippery. Twist out or braid out? I never really try to braid out. I would like to try to braid out. My hair is kind of thin. The middle of my hair is thick. The back of my hair is thin. The front of my hair is regular. I have three different hair types if you really want to, want me to choose a hair type. Um, but yeah, I definitely would go with a twist out because that's what my hair is used to. That's what I'm used to doing and my twist outs really come out nice. Wash and go or rise set? I would definitely say a rise set. I would rather my curls to be tight and then as it gets old to loosen up. With a wash and go, I have to pretty much worry about frizz all the time. My hair frizzes a lot. Um, I really have to put a lot of product in my hair for the curls really to pop. And I really don't like to put that much product because I really don't like to wash my hair like that much. So, I'm going to go with rye set. Perm rye set or flexi rye set? I tried a flexi rye set. And I actually tried it on my hair weight. Hot ass mess. So, eh. Perm rise set. Shower or sink? Do tubs come? Because <laughs> normally I wash my hair in the tub. Um, Basically, I just bend over the tub and wash my hair like that. That's just how I always wash my hair. 
And if somebody else washes my hair, it's normally in a sink. Um, air dry or diffuse? Definitely air dry. When I wash my hair, I'm never in a rush to go somewhere. So I don't mind sitting and waiting until it air dries to do a style on it. Um, fleeky edges or as they are? Definitely fleeky edges. I'm trying to get that with my edges, y'all. I'm really not good at doing my edges. I have good edges to do them, but I'm just, I'm still practicing. But I definitely would rather fleeky edges. It's just something about those edges. Something about those edges. It really just brings out your style. Right now, I don't have nothing going on but a bush. But, yeah. Next question is, deep conditioners or oils? Definitely deep conditioners. I feel like deep conditioners give my hair that life that that's needed, basically. When my hair is dry and it just just needs some kind of maintenance, deep conditioners will do the job. Um, high bun or low bun? Definitely high buns. I love high buns, especially when I have a twist out and it and it's gotten old. I like to put my hair in a high burn bun. And the curls just be rolling, like popping, you hear me? Like, yeah. I just be feeling it. Um, Bantu knots or finger coils? Y'all, whoever created Bantu knots, like, you know, come see, let me holler at you. It's, it's not for me. It's not for me. Bantu knots was for me when my hair was shorter. I feel like I didn't try to dry Bantu knots. I didn't try wet Bantu knots, and it's just, not for me. Like, something about Bantu knots, that's not my thing. I just, I can't fool with it. I can't fool with it. So, if y'all y'all know any tricks or anything on Bantu knots, y'all let me know in the description box. Not the description box, in the comment box. Please let me know. Social media, anything. So, definitely not Bantu knots. Finger cards, I never try because, like I say, I'm really like the lazy type of natural person. Finger coils... It looked like it's going to take about three hours. But I never tried it, but I wouldn't mind trying it in my head because I didn't watch tutorials on it. So I know how to do it. It's just the time. It's time consuming. Um, Protective styles in the summer or winter? Definitely in the summer. Um, Usually in the winter, I would go for like more like a silk press because I know that it's going to last. If I get a silk press in the summer, basically I just waste my money because it's 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 not gonna it's not gonna last at all. Um in the summer, basically it's like twist outs and maybe like braids, things like that, because you know it's gonna be hot, you're gonna be sweating, the weather gonna be changing, so you don't wanna get a a silk press in the summer. Near indeed. Especially if you're natural. Y'all know natural hair is a struggle to keep our silk presses. Bonnets or scarves? Definitely scarves. I do wear bonnets depending on what type of style I got. But if it's just my natural hair, then I'm just going to wear a scarf. Why to comb or detangling brush? Um, I use both, but I would rather a detangling brush. Um... Finger detangling or brush? Definitely brush. I don't have time to be finger detangling. This, you see this? I don't have time to be finger detangling. No, no, it's cute, but it's not for me. <laughs> you gotta know what's for you because that ain't for me. Um, t-shirt or towel? Definitely a t-shirt. I feel like I get less frizz when I dry my hair with a t-shirt. And it really don't take a while for my hair to dry. So I put it in the t-shirt and basically a few minutes later, not a few minutes, you know what I mean. Not a few minutes, but you know, it, it, it dry fast. Oh, you almost, y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me. Gels versus no gel. I want to say gel. I really like Eco Styler gel. If y'all have any gels that y'all really love, I wouldn't mind like um trying new gels, but that's just the gel that I like and I just stuck to. Definitely gels because I'm not big on edge control. The type of hair I have, 
um the gel really a laid down really grease and water laid down but definitely we need my gels for when i want to do like a slick little look curl it up right here so i definitely need my gels length or health length or health is that a tricky question length or health definitely health um first of all not like i want my hair to be long but before anything i would want my hair to be healthy because you don't want long damaged hair definitely i would want full body hair that's healthy definitely healthy um side part or middle part well my hair is cut in layers and it grows how it want to grow um i actually got my hair cut years ago and it still grows in the layers and when I do a middle part, when I do styles and I do a middle part, basically you, you can really see the difference in the lengths. So I really like to do a side part because I usually tuck this side behind my ears. So you really can't tell. It's just this side will be more full, which is fine. It's just when I do a middle part, you can really tell that my hair is not the same length. And I don't like that. And that's why I don't do a lot of natural styles. You have to do what works for you. And that middle part. <clears throat> plastic cap or plastic bag I'm not about to put a bag on my head first of all because I don't know what's been in the bag first of all so definitely a plastic cap and I use it most of the time use plastic caps when I um do like a deep conditioner or a hot oil treatment I will put a plastic cap on it let it sit on my head and probably for like 30 minutes to an hour and then I will rinse it out. So yeah, definitely a plastic cap. And it looks like that concludes the questions. So if y'all have any questions, concerns, anything, even like um ideas on growth, how to how to um make your hair grow longer, what you can use to for your hair not to be as dry. Any kind of advice, you can leave it in the comment below. And y'all, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.